bit of a denim review tonight. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know over the last few years I've really got into raw denim. And a year ago I started my Japanese raw denim, denim journey properly uh, with these wonderful Arnhart triple fives in their signature 21 ounce fabric. Absolutely fantastic jeans. Whole year's wearing these, just on an update, so check out my channel if you want to see how these are wearing. But it's a new year and I do like to get a new pair of jeans at the beginning of the, at the, beginning of the year. So following on sort of from the Japanese feel of the Iron Hearts, I thought I'd go and explore some other Japanese brands. Now the brands which really interested me were Samurai, Omotaro and Oni. Um, I looked around the internet, um, I live in Devon in the UK so there's no sort of bricks and mortar stores really nearby so it was always going to be internet and I decided to go direct to source uh, using a website called Denimo um, shipped direct from Japan. Um, absolutely fantastic experience I'll go on a little bit more about that in a minute because uh, sizing and buying online is, is a massive thing and it really does take some thought. So went on to Denimo um, and searched around and I picked these Onis. Now these are the 902 ZRs. They are what they describe as a, a slim or a straight tapered fit. Uh, they're relatively slim. Um, and these are in Onis uh, heavyweight denim, um, which they call their secret denim. And it's 20 ounces, so a little bit lighter than the Iron Hearts. Um, but what it lacks in weight, and it certainly doesn't really lack anything in weight, it makes up in texture. The, the fabric, and we'll come in for some close-ups in a minute, but the fabric is amazing. It is so slubby. It's a sort of a fairly loose weave. It's hairy. It's got variations in pattern. It's so wonderfully organic. Um, it really is very exciting. It's almost, it kind of feels oldie worldy handmade it's sort of like a, a tweed almost um, but it's absolutely fantastic denim and i'm really interested to see how this um, breaks in and fades over the coming year so that's a denim um, the feel of these and i have tried these on um, briefly um, they feel broken in um, it's a very very sort of loose denim even though it's very heavy um, it feels like if you've ever experienced iron hearts and a lot of people have you know after six months of wear you get that sort of sweatshirt super comfortable um, warm breathable sort of feel and it, it's like that straight out of the box now these are one washed um, and that is a sort of a quirk of Japanese denim it seems um, looking at the the website which is Denimo um, and I will put a link below I'll also give you a discount code because I did ask them if I could get a discount for my subscribers got 10% so discount code below um, now loads of the brands on that web page you can buy in either unwashed or one washed versions now a lot of the denims unsanitar unsanitarized if that's the right word so you do need to wash it either get the manufacturer to wash it choosing one wash or doing it yourself and what I found, what I believe, is between the two uh, size charts, um, you will see a huge amount of shrinkage as it is given the one wash treatment. Um, mechanical, fairly hot wash, I, I would guess. Um, it gives you a feel for how much it would shrink or stretch, depending on whether you're going to wash it yourself or buy it washed yourself. Um, so with these, I've got a feeling and I've got a, a, a sense of how much they'll stretch um, because I know what they started out at. Now, also checked on web chat, really good, really helpful, probably essential to buying uh, denim online is, is web chat. And the advice I got from the denim people was that these could stretch out over an inch on the waist, if not two. So I know a little bit about how these will behave. Um, so before I get into the details, I'll just go over a few of the measurements because that is absolutely key. Um, measuring out on the waist, coming in with uh, my little cheap uh, fabric um, tape measure, so maybe a little bit of uh, 
inaccuracy, but so it gives me a, a bar to set by. And what I did do, I checked out the Ironheart 555s because that was my perfect fit at the moment. Um, I did want a bit of taper. I wanted a little bit more space in the top block, and that's exactly what I got here. So these come in at 33 and a half inch on the waist. So a bit to stretch out there. Um, the front rise, 11.5 inches. Rear rise, 15.25 inches. The measurement on the thigh was 12 and a half. On the knee, eight and three quarters. And then coming down to a nice taper to keep that thin silhouette, that nice slim silhouette, down to a seven inch hem. Now the inseam on these, are relatively short for a, uh, a Japanese denim. Um, you might not believe it, but most Japanese denim tends to be hemmed at about 35 to 36 inches, which is absolutely huge, unless you're six foot 10. Um, but they are designed to either be cuffed or hemmed before you start wearing them. These are 33 and three quarters. So for me, that's almost perfect. Um, I can either wear them uncuffed and allow them to stack a bit, or I can wear them cuffed and um, go for that look. Um, I think I will actually vary between the two because what I've found is I normally wear my jeans cuffed and it really leads to some premature wear, um, some areas which need repair after about a year's wear, if not sooner. So I'm gonna try and vary it um, and then get folds in different places and see if that leads to a little bit more longevity of the jean. Okay. Well, before we get into the uh, the close-ups, we'll just pop on a couple of shots with these on. Uh, one cuffed, one not. Um, in the shots, you'll see that these are quite a nice slim silhouette. A um, bit more roomy in the top block is exactly what I wanted. Um, I find that a very, very slim thigh uh, and sort of um, top block means that when I'm sat down, um, they can become uncomfortable over time. Really nice silhouette, but just that extra bit of comfort. Um, but with these, the, the profile's maintained with a nice taper towards the ankle. Coming in for some close-ups here. Lovely paper card on the back there. Talking about the, uh, the name Oni, um, meaning devil in the, uh, or ogre in Japanese and the, the phrase that it was so slubby like the devil. Um, really nice sort of bit of imagery there. And again, same Im imagery on the, uh, on the leather patch, stitched on all four sides. So if you're gonna wear a belt, that'll be tucked away behind it. Uh, nice soft, so low profile patch there. Moving around. Back, other back pocket you can see the, the nice arc there. Now I would say that the, uh, the back pockets aren't lined. Um, a lot of other manufacturers do line their back pockets just to give it that extra bit of strength. But it does have a nice sort of two-tone stitch, so a sort of amber and a golden colour there. Nice arcs, nice little crescent in the stitch there, and obviously the sort of tack stitch at the top to strengthen it. Hidden rivet beyond, we'll get around to that in a second. Really nice yoke detail there. The stitching all around these looks really good. As I say, the fabric is sort of wonderfully organic and loose in its feel sort of hairy, lumpy, slubby, really, really quite interesting to look at and I'll be really interested to see how that fades. So flipping them over, you've got a button fly with nice branded buttons all the way down there. No selvage details on the inside of the fly there, which I kind of quite like when, when they save these little extra bits of salvage, just tuck them away. Um, but there is a nice little bit of salvage tucked away on the inside of the fifth pocket there. Obviously branded copper studs or copper rivets. 
Round on the back as well. The universal brand on the back and only denim on the front. And again, as you see on the back pocket, you've got the hidden rivets. Moving down the leg, you see a nice taper. And the bottom there, you've got the famous pink salvage for this secret denim that only developed. Yeah, top quality stitching throughout. Lovely, rough, slubby materials. Probably slightly lighter indigo than one might expect on completely raw denim. Obviously this has been one washed um, before delivery at the factory. And uh, yeah, so we'll be really interested to see how these develop with wear. Well that brings us to the end of the video and really what happens next is I need to give these Onis um, some serious wear. Um, really interested to see how they break in and see if they do stretch out as much as I've uh, I've been told. Doesn't matter if they don't, um, but I could do with about so half an inch or an inch on the waist there. Um, all the other dimensions are fine and of course with all denim if you've really sort of stretched them out, a hot wash, gentle in the bathtub, um, will sort of save the uh, the loss of indigo but will tighten them back up again. Um, that's certainly what I've found. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. As I say, there's a few more brands I really want to try out on the Denimu uh, website and there's a discount for you below. Um, please do use that. Um, and the experience I had with them was really, really good. The web chat's exceptionally helpful, huge, huge range. I might actually do a video about how I shop online for denim because it is a minefield but if you take a little bit of care find the cut that you like out of the jeans you've got at home and go in armed with those measurements with the help of the uh, the web chat you can certainly uh, find a good fit without doubt um, and shipping uh, was absolutely easy no problem at all um, four days it took to reach me I've got a Momotaro uh, jacket on back order. That should be with me probably in April, hopefully, so there'll be a review on that. And uh, yeah, we'll come in for a uh, sixth month review on these just to show you how they're breaking in and how the fade's developing. But yeah, really excited to try out another famous and important Japanese denim brand. Okay, well, I hope that's useful. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Uh, denim is a massive feature, as are heritage boots, red wings, thoroughgoods, that sort of stuff. Um, always try to get new content and any other passing interests and hobbies that I have, I normally share a little bit about. So cycling, um, guitar, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Um, it's all on my channel. Check it out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Of course, I'd love it if you subscribed and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.